Hey YouTube Sweet Knives here. Thanks for checking out another awesome video. Um, I gotta tell you, I've been selling so many of these packs of lapping films for both the Work Sharp and the Wicked Edge. Um, if you guys are, are looking to get the most absolute mirror on your knife, watch what we're about to do here and you can purchase these. Email me, the link's in the description. My email is sweetknives2020 at gmail.com and uh, I mean, this is the way to go. If you want to get a mirror edge, you got to use these lapping films. They work amazing. So first things first, um, I'm going to zoom in here to this blade uh, so you can see this. What we got going on is a Gerber knife. This is an awesome little Gerber knife made in the USA. Uh, but the problem is it got dull and it needed to be sharpened. So I've been spending the last 10 minutes... Um, just profiling this edge. I started with the 320 and now I just moved it to 600. And I'm gonna, I mean, I literally, the most important part, everybody wants to get a mirror edge and you can do that with these films, but it won't work unless you get this edge profiled correctly. So I think right now I'm set at right around 19 or 20 degrees on the unit uh, for this knife. I had to draw you know, a marker, figure out where that bevel was right there. And then I matched it to the factory. And then I spent about 10 minutes on the 320 on each side, making sure that I got it right. And now I'm moving to 600. So we're just starting with 600 and then we'll get to the lapping films. Uh, but you, you need to work it. You need to keep working it up and down, nice, even pressure like this. And when you get to the tip, you don't want to push hard. Otherwise you'll what they say, roll it. You just want to gonna go straight off. Um, and uh, this is a little squeaky, <laughs> but this is working really good. Um, so you just do this a little bit and you don't have to do too much. Once you get that first profile done, then you can just flip it and then you want to do the same thing on the other side. And the idea is we're trying to get those uh, scratches out of there and move that burr to the other side. So you do develop a burr um, and that's how you know that you got it to the right point. And it doesn't matter what sharpening system you're using, you gotta do the same kind of sequence. And I can make these lapping films for any of them. Someone had one of the Russian ones, had an oddball uh, size, and I was able to make a whole bunch of lapping films for uh, that gentleman. So if you have a sharpener, uh, even a Lansky, doesn't matter what you have. If you need these lapping films, just shoot me an email. I can, I can literally make them for any single um, unit. That's pretty good. Just gonna keep going a little bit more. You gotta keep doing this just till you get it to the right point. I know it's a little. That's funny, it's a little squeaky. <laughs> okay, I'll do it again, a little bit more. Curious too what you guys think. What have you thought so far using it? I know I've had a whole bunch of people buy these from me, these films. Uh, what do you guys think? Have you had good luck with with uh, these lapping films? Let me know in the comments if you have. Really curious what other people are, uh, what kind of results you're having. Okay, I think we're ready to move on to the lapping films. So I'm gonna zoom out just for a second. Included in this pack are all the various um, microns that you need. So the green is 30, the yellow is 12, the blue and, or gray is 9, the uh, pink is 3, the light green is 1, and then this one here is 0.3, so that's 40,000 grit. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, start with this this one and then we'll just slowly move on to the next ones. These can be reused for a few different knives so if you uh, what we do is we put it on the ceramic and uh, we don't use the ceramic on the blade this is quite a bit better. So you can check out some of my other videos I've done this a few different times but the idea is you just take the sticky it's a little hard to get at first but just peels right off and then it's sticky and then this part just sticks to the ceramic so you just Kind of line it up, 
get it on there as best you can. And then you, you really just go one way and that's down like this. So you just keep going like this. You don't want to put too much pressure, uh, but that's all you do. And I'm going to just zoom into the blade a little bit more. We'll, uh, we'll give you a kind of a look how that works. So you just kind of keep going like that on each side. If you go up, you risk cutting it and we don't want to cut it. And depending on your knife, this could take um, longer, you know, just depending on, on uh, what you got. You know, each step can take a little longer. So you just want to take your time, go nice and easy. And this is the start of getting your knife to that nice mirror edge. So we got that. And you can see it's working. Um, because you can see it's it's you know it's it's definitely taking material off. So I'm gonna keep going. Just keep keep going. Just like so. Do that again on this side. Sorry, that's out of focus a little. I don't know how well that shows up. Okay, we're done with that one. So I'm gonna zoom out here. This just peels. You can put this on any hard plastic surface, just basically anything that you have um, that it will stick to. And now we're gonna go to the next one, which is this yellow uh, one, which is 12 micron. So I'm gonna set that. This is the sticky side here, and that just sticks right on this part here. You want to try to line it up as best you can. It's kind of hard to do on camera, but... There we go. And same thing, you just keep going. Keep going across like that. In each progression, you can tell it starts feeling really incredible. You might want to do like five or ten strokes on each side and then switch, switch sides. next one it's just super buttery smooth and you can probably see it starting to mirror up and look at how, how dirty this is getting so you can see it's actually uh, it's actually taking material off That's it with, uh, with that one. Now I'm gonna set that aside, save it. We can reuse it. And now we're gonna put on the blue. I have some nine micron in blue and some in gray. Uh, so depending on what you get, yours will be either blue or gray. They're the same thing. Put that on and uh, now we're doing nine. Move to the next side. Be careful that you keep this level. This thing wants to kind of jiggle back and forth. You want to have it kind of level, level as as level as possible. <clears throat> and 
And I go a little bit fast on video, so you guys at home just take your time a little bit more. You don't need to go, you don't need to go quite that fast, but that's it. We're done with uh, the blue. Those are so nice. They just come off. They stick and peel, and then you can reuse them. Uh, now we're moving on to the pink, which is 3 micron. And this starts really putting a nice mirror on the, on the blade. So you'll notice now it'll, uh, it should really start uh, putting a nice mirror. These next three are kind of the finishing ones. They really start putting that polish on. And if you've never used these type of lapping films, it's just incredible how well this works. They actually use this stuff for the optical industry. So polishing different glass for optics and uh, fiber optics, all kinds of things like that. That's what, the, that's what 3M developed this stuff for, the optical industry. And so this is some of the best finishing stuff that money can buy. And it puts the most unbelievable mirror on these blades which I'll show you, I'll zoom in when we're all done. Pretty much done with this one. Yeah, you can see here, it definitely, uh, you can clean these with alcohol, uh, like rubbing alcohol, just put a little bit on a cloth or something and then uh, wipe them. And that'll uh, that'll clean them up pretty good. Okay, now we got two left. We're uh, moving to light green, which is one micron. Uh, this is just <laughs> it really puts the shine the shine on. I don't think I lined that one up right. Get the one to go funny on me. They're a little bit bigger than the ceramic, but uh, that's just so we can get them on there, and it seems to work just fine. You don't want to be short. <laughs> That's the if that ceramic hits, it's so much coarser that a little scratch. So that's why they're a little bit bigger. It's just so silky smooth. Like when I do that, I can't even tell. It's almost hard to tell. This is gonna be one, <laughs> one sharp knife. I've, I actually carry the funny. I you know I got all these knives. I literally have like, multi hundred dollar knives, and I really love carrying this little Gerber. It's about, fifteen bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you guys, uh, want to buy it, uh, on Amazon. It's a great little pocket knife, and it's only fifteen bucks, made in the USA. And uh, it works just, you can't even tell it's in your pocket. And so I end up carrying this one um, when I'm not carrying all my other ones. And I, I like this little knife, but I don't like when it gets dull. So this should solve that uh, problem, hopefully. All right, we got one more, one more step. And that is, um, let's see, that's the point three. And uh, this one's almost hard to tell what side's what, but the matte side... You can feel um, as you undo this. Um, we'll just bear with me a second here. So once you do this, obviously the sticky side goes on the ceramic. So if you're not sure, sticky side on the ceramic. Didn't line that up. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Final step. I can't believe how I must have really matched this angle up perfectly because it's just literally silky, buttery, smooth.
What happens a lot of times too, this is for kind of the newbies out there, but what happens is if you get to this point and you see a lot of scratches, that means you didn't spend enough time on the earlier steps, like possibly 320 or 600, um, because that's why you're seeing scratches. It's not that this isn't getting the scratches out. If you don't have a perfect mirror, it's because you didn't spend enough time on the previous steps. And that's happened to me too. So if it happens to you, just, um, you know, there's nothing you can do now. You gotta start completely over and go back to the very final or beginning, you know, point. But next time you sharpen a knife, just realize you gotta take a longer time in the beginning. That's why that happens. So here we go, we're almost done. I'm gonna take it out, zoom out, and we'll, we'll uh, just see how it, how it does. Should be, uh, yeah, it should be so sharp, it's just unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna zoom out here. Um, let's move this thing aside a little bit, here it is. I'll try to undo it without uh, cutting myself. I usually take like a little little cloth. Be careful at this point. <laughs> it can really mess you up. I don't know how well you guys I'll try to try to focus in on that, but pretty good. I, I guess, you know, you look at this afterwards and you think, well, maybe I could have maybe I could have done a little bit better, but not bad. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Uh, let's see if it cuts hairs. Um, just a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, it's so sharp. Um, you know, I really hate, I hate cutting paper, but um, I brought a sheet of paper out here just for the hell of it. I don't know. I don't know why, but some people want to see. Some people always want to see, like, how does this, how does this cut paper? I mean. This is the quickest way to <laughs> quickest way to dull your knife probably, but All right, guys, that's the power of the different sharpening systems we got with these lapping films. I mean, I can't tell you how good these are. Uh, these are the ones for the Wicked Edge, but the ones I just used were for the WorkSharp. Uh, links are in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.